During January, I completed a grand total of five books, which means that I'm actually now one book ahead of schedule, seeing as I want to read 50-ish books this year, basically one a week, so five books I'm very pleased with myself. Sadly though, most of the books that I read were library books, and they needed to be brought back to the library, so I don't actually have quite a few of them here anymore, but you'll have to live with that. The first book I finished was The Fellowship of the Rings by Tolkien, great 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 book I really really loved it and I still can't wait to continue the rest of the series however I haven't really done it just yet I did a review of the book and it's got its own video so if you click here or something like that you can go and watch that one and in my reading challenge I put The Fellowship of the Rings under the category books that became a movie after The Fellowship of the Rings I moved briskly on to quite a shorter book I read The Tailor of Gloucester by Beatrix Potter. Now it's only about 40-ish pages long, lots of pictures, and it didn't take me more than half an hour. However, I still found the story really short, lovely and enjoyable. However, there's not much I can tell because basically the book only has one main plot, and if I tell you, then I've spoiled the whole book. But it was quite full with different and strange English words that I felt that I didn't really understand. So even if the book was very short, it did still give me kind of a headache reading it because there were so many old and ancient English words that I didn't understand. And seeing as The Tailor of Gloucester was such a short story, I put it in the category of books that can be read in one day because, I mean, it could be read in half an hour. The next book that I completed is this one. Notes from a Small Island by Bill Bryson. Hilarious book. I really, really enjoyed this one as well. Uh, it's also got its own review. You can click on the book and you can go straight to watch that video there. And in case you're wondering, this book, I put it under the category books that I started but never finished because, as I mentioned in the other video, I picked this one up but I didn't really get the hang of it so I stopped reading it and read another book but now that I picked it up again, I fell in love with it. The next book I planned to read was a book that was supposed to be banned. Now, finding banned books wasn't really that easy because seeing as they were banned but I went to my library and the librarians said that this book is one you really definitely should read in that case it's called Kvinnor och Eppeltrad and it's written in Swedish but this roughly translates to women and apple trees and it's written by a woman called uh, Moa Martinson now when this book was published in 1933 I think it was very very controversial it shows women in a very different way than what society thought then. The book is set in a small village somewhere in Sweden and basically the men are the people in charge. They will be out working all day, they will come home drunk, they will hit their women and call them a bitch, then basically rape them and that was the life of women and they weren't supposed to say anything about it because that was the way life was. But these two women in this book, Sally and Ellen, they don't want this. They have their own minds. They are strong, independent women. They basically make an uproar against their husbands. And the book really gives a different view on women during that time, and the reason that it was very controversial. The book also uh, talks a lot about, about sexuality and childbirth and other subjects that women and definitely men weren't supposed to know or read about. So I wouldn't say that this is a type of book I would normally read, but still it was a very, very interesting read and I kept on wanting to know what happens because at times it was really exciting as well. Next book up is a graphic novel. Now this is a graphic novel of the first Sherlock Holmes book. If the books are the same as this graphic novel, then I won't be reading them because this... I didn't really enjoy it. Yes, I can understand the plot and so on, but it wasn't really exciting and there was nothing in it that kept me actually wanting to read it, more apart from the fact that I knew I had to read it because I needed to read a graphic novel. I wish that I could say that this book turned me into a Sherlock Holmes fan, but sadly it didn't. So those were the books that I read during January, but I'm also halfway through these two books. Is Dexter by Jeff Lindsay and the other one is Carrie by Stephen King. Both of them currently are very very exciting and uh, as soon as I'm finished filming and editing this I will pick one of them and continue reading which means that I will basically be seeing you the next time I talk about one of these so you have something to look forward to if you've read some of the books that 
I read during January. It would be very fun to hear your opinions and so on about them. But other than that, I'll see you in my next video.